Like drastic? No. Not even a little bit? Nah. I think it's because I waited so long and like it's just been well anticipated for a long time now. It's like it's it's here and like I'm just ready for it. Now later I think it'll feel like draft day. Most important would have to be the Gatorade. Just because it's, you know, two years straight, that's kind of hard to do. But man, those championships, the first one, that one felt great. Um, those guys I grew up with, played with all my life, and to bring the first championship here, big deal. He's definitely been my quarantine partner. I say that much, because man, like, we've been going at it for a long time. He's helped my confidence tremendously over the whole time. You know, just constantly staying on me, not letting me, you know, take time off, you know, because it's easy to, like, you know, oh my gosh, it's so long until the draft, it's so long until the combine, like, let's just take this time off. But like, nah, man, stay consistent with it, pretty much. All right, so let's figure out this air situation. For some reason, my car didn't inflate its own tires while I was working out. Now we're gonna learn how to put air in the tire. I know you needed some air. I ride around with my compressor on the back of the truck. I wish I would've known that too. So you simply push it on whatever this is called. Don't know the name of it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We might need my friend. Can't even get a tutorial. I just need some air on my tire. You said he got a compressor on the back of his tire. Oh yeah, he got one, but I think he has to plug it up. Okay. We'll figure it out, guys. Hey, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. All right. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pull my truck over here. I'm gonna put some air in this tank in my tank. All right. Then I'm gonna let you put it in your in your tire, all right? I appreciate it. hang on for a second. All right. Looks like it is gonna work out there. Everybody's helpful, down to earth. It's the truth, you know, that I've seen it firsthand. Even if you don't know people and you see somebody needs help, that's what they do here in Mississippi. That's just how it is. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I got a tea time today. Oh, I ain't hit the brakes at all. I'm no, I'm no. Just make sure you ain't trying to do me like you did the fur haircut. Fur haircut. Ooh. Hey. 24 hour haircut. A regular day? Oh, yeah, this day. <laughs> oh, my mama. I don't know, bro. I, I can't explain it. It just feels like a regular day right now. I guess because. A regular day. Kept the routine the same. I feel it. But later on, I'm probably going crazy about ready to grow up. You want to go on some sideburns, though? Know? Oh yeah, cut them off right now. <laughs> I told you, been a minute. Yes, sir, JVS. Did you get the cross in the back? Did you? Appreciate you, Jay. What's up? All ready. Let's go. Bless. You. We're playing 18, so be ready. <laughs> but it's much needed. When we get out there. I'm talking, like, talking all the smack, talking all the noise. And I'm gonna back it up today. Look at this. Nervous. He's shook. What Crane say? He's rattled. Hey, Crane, that's Drew. Oh, Drew. Shout out to Duncan Duncan. What a shot in the water. Love to see it, buddy. You gonna need two off the first tee. Ain't that what you said? All right, let's get this thing started. I like being outside a lot, being in the sunshine, you know, just enjoying nature. As opposed to basketball, it's inside all the time. Once you kind of actually learn how to play, it starts to get fun. I guess you could say once you have a good day on the golf course, that's when it's like 
addicting. We on the green. <laughs> Double bogey, I take it. Not the best start on the greens, but things will get better when you have an audience and you have to perform well. I lied. Got a blast. Oh, it didn't go in. <laughs> it didn't go in. Uh, oh, my bad. We never shake hands over so it. <laughs> we never shake hands. <laughs> Fun day at the court. Really nothing to be nervous about. I don't think. I feel like in the end, regardless of what happens, it'll all work out, you know. I went with a navy and a khaki look, um, pinstripe, because this is the first time ever that the draft is gonna be in the fall. So I wanted that comfortable fall look that'll match the season. Decent? Yeah, decent. I like yeah. it. Yeah. What's the song? So fresh, so clean? Yeah, outcast. Put the family in there. Mom, dad, sister, Titan. When he was a baby. And boom. We are ready for draft night. Does it feel like draft night now? Uh, we're getting there still. <laughs> we're still getting there. Uh, you know, I think once it gets started, I think uh, the nerves will kick in. It's going to be an unprecedented year, but like we talked about, you put yourself in a great position, so you know, we'll keep you up to date. This thing can keep moving, but I was just, you know, just wanted to call, check in, make sure you were good. Yeah, I appreciate it, my man, for sure. Enter. It's a big deal. Um, there be not too many guys from yeah. Mississippi get this opportunity. So being from Mississippi, going to Mississippi State, and just defeating those odds within itself. Yeah. It's a pretty hey, good feeling. It's a big deal. Right here. Down. Up. <laughs> He's hyped. Come on. Here. Good. Good boy. <laughs> I hate this dude. Hey, man. We just want to congratulate you. Trap. The time has come, man. We've made it. Hey, Rob, just wanted to wish you good luck in the draft. We all know you're going to do great. You are a man of so much character, so much passion. Your heart is so big. I'm just really proud of you. And always remember how you do anything. It's how you, you do, do everything. For sure. Uh, <laughs> Crazy. <to win. laughs> you know they had to say the best for last, man. I hope this video uh, just shows you how much of an impact you've had on all of these people here in Starkville. Um, uh, keep your feet planted as the person that you've been for these past 21 years. Um, you've seen so many great things come to fruition from, you know, keeping your feet planted where you are. So keep that same perspective as you make it to the, the highest level of basketball. Just want to let you know that I love you, bro. Um, I'm excited to see where you go. It looks like he's I'm about to cry. Away, man. <laughs> that meant a lot to me. I can't even lie, that just made my day, for real. Just knowing like people actually feel that way about me because I feel the same way about them, just being around them all the time. But yeah, that's, that's really good stuff, man. It's, it's important to know people care about you sometimes. The draft marks a new beginning for our teams. And it's a new chapter for the next generation of players in search of their NBA dreams. This class of rookies will be challenged more than ever before. But they are ready. So let's get started with this terrific group of young men who are moments away from hearing their names called. Hello. Hey. Oh, okay. Sacramento. All right, bet. All right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> With the 40th pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Robert Woodard II from Mississippi State University. And 
so there's the reaction of the Woodard family as Mississippi State's Robert Woodard II, who's the only major conference player to average a block, a steal, and a made three last season. That was good. <laughs> yeah, God is good, man. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Hello? Hey, did you say Sacramento or Memphis? Okay, I thought so. Okay, I thought so. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, we're gonna be in Cali. We're gonna be in Cali for sure. We're gonna be in Cali. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to say give all praises to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, to Robert Wood the second, hard works always pays off. Hard works always pays off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, for you. Yeah, I, I really appreciate it. A lot it. of people that have made some big, big time mistakes, and we're going to make them all pay. For sure, for sure. It's up That's to me. Way. It's up to me. I, you, people are going to look back in this and how in the world they didn't take you. I'm telling you. For sure. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. No, we appreciate you. So I want you to celebrate tonight with your family, and then we're getting to work making everybody look horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. You're excited, man. We're going to Cali. You can run and play on the beach, swim in the ocean. <laughs> Whenever his name get called, it, 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 it'd be great. But um, didn't get worried about it. But like I said, he put in the work to uh, um, get with where he's at. So, um, I, like I said earlier, any teams that picked him is getting a great young man out that can play basketball. Did the nerves kind of kick in? Psalms 46 and 10, be still and know that I am God. So he took care of it tonight. Maybe not when we want, you know, in our due time, but in his time, he took care of it. Um, as a dad, I try to put everything that I knew about basketball in him. He's equipped. He's, he's, he's ready for it. So I'm good with it, yes. And I think he's uh, mature enough to uh, handle whatever situation is going to take place in Sacramento. First, I would like to thank God for this opportunity. Uh, it's truly amazing and truly a blessing. And I promise before every interview, that is what I'm going to lead it off with. And I'm going to make sure everybody knows that I'm very thankful uh, of what God has done in my life and I'm very appreciative. I don't think it's like really set in yet because, you know, people are still here doing interviews and stuff. But like when I lay down and wind down for the night, that's when it's going to be like, <sighs> you got to think. It's a lot of people who want to be in this position and to have my name called tonight, you can't beat it. You know, it's a big, it's a big goal accomplished. Now I have to take advantage of it, you know. So just work. Um, when you're tired, work. Just put in the work and see where it takes you. And, you know, it's, it's gotten me here.